best. We wanted people on this team who were hard workers, who had a work ethic. You reap what you sow. There can be no great victories without overcoming adversity. As we're wrapping up, I wanted to give you the latest on the Mercedes campaign. Um, the Mercedes campaign at uh, the UAW Mercedes campaign down in Vance, Alabama, just outside of Tuscaloosa. They announced last week that they were uh, they hit fifty percent. Uh, they hit fifty percent cards signed. That means fifty percent of the. Uh, uh, 50% of the workers there support the union, and that is a big milestone and really uh, looking forward to seeing them uh, continue to continue to collect support. Uh, look, I mean, this has happened in just six months, I believe. Uh, that is incredibly impressive movement. Uh, the last time that they had a campaign, uh, they uh, workers that I've talked to there said it took something like a year and a half to just get to 30 percent right so this is extremely fast movement uh from the uh, uh from the folks who are supportive of the union down there at mercedes so huge movement obviously the uh uh the bosses, the executive class in Alabama, the owning class in Alabama are not happy with this. Uh, Kay Ivey continues to blast the uh, Alabama auto workers, saying that the UAW is an out of state special interest. And we talked about this before, but it is just uh, using that slur in this fight specifically. I mean, it's always a slur and it's always nonsensical uh, when you're talking about activists and, and out of state special interest group. You know, it never really makes sense, right? It, it never does. But uh, for in this one in particular, for this fight in particular, this union campaign in particular, it is incredibly ironic because she is uh, slurring Alabama auto workers who are organizing in coordination with other American auto workers, slandering them with the term out-of-state special interests. And who is she doing this in support of? She's doing this in support of Hyundai. Hyundai. I want you to say that name in your head again. Hyundai. Uh, that is not an American company. <laughs> That's not, it's not an Alabama company. And it's, uh, it's not even an American company. It's not even an American company. It is a foreign company company, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, not an American company, not an Alabama company, right? Honda, Toyota, not American companies, not Alabama companies. These are literally foreign, foreign special interest groups that she is flying in and attacking her own constituents on behalf of. So it is a very funny slur in this particular instance. Hey, five seconds. Just wanted to say that this is only possible because of our donors. If you want to see more of this, then consider donating yourself at tblr.fm slash donate. Nick Saban on Thursday evening spoke to Mercedes workers. Uh, apparently, this is not uh, something that, that has never happened before. Uh, Nick Saban owns multiple Mercedes-Benz dealerships. And so occasionally, apparently, he will come and speak to the Mercedes workers in Alabama. And so uh, this, but this visit was announced. And with all everything going on, there was a lot of consternation and worry that this would be in service of the anti-union campaign. And now um, some people even afterwards said that, that this is kind of, you know, whether they're, whether even though there were not explicitly anti-union comments, um, it was still in the service of the anti-union campaign. This is from Alex Press, uh, labor reporter for Jacobin. Uh, she says, The melding of motivational self-help axioms with mentions of his driving a Mercedes and owning Mercedes dealerships, all in service, whether he makes explicitly anti-union comments or not, of defeating an organizing drive. And then she quotes him, quote, we wanted people on this team who were hard workers who had a work ethic. You reap what you sow. There can be no great victories without overcoming adversity. And so, you know, 
like Alex said, this is a lot of kind of generic uh, self-help, motivational type of stuff. A lot of something that you could imagine a, fo- a college football coach saying to his uh, to to his football players uh, in halftime, right? So, um, uh, you know, but but there's potentially at least an implicit, you know attack on the union there but at least it wasn't explicit and uh you know facially uh he was neutral uh as it relates to the union campaign he didn't remark on it so that's good uh i think pro union alabama fans can rest easy (laughs) um and take that ambiguity as a win um because it would have been uh really detrimental i think to the union campaign if he had come out against it so uh so so that's very very good and uh you know it, it would be very de- uh, uh detrimental to the health of, of some alabama fans that i know <laughs> if he had come out against it come out explicitly against the union campaign so uh, good news there good news there for sure um then uh uh so that's where we stand right now with the mercedes campaign uh, of course y'all already know that uh 50 of workers at volkswagen in chattanooga have signed on to support the union. 30% of Hyundai workers in Montgomery have signed on to support the union. And so we're going to continue to follow this. Uh, If you work at Toyota here in Huntsville and you're listening to me right now, uaw.org slash join. What are you doing? Sign the card uh, and and participate in the campaign. Get on the organizing committee. Uh, This is a a really huge opportunity for auto workers uh, right now. Uh, Never a better time to organize than uh, Year of Our Lord 2024. Um, Lots of opportunities to, to to make your life better, to make your family's life better, and to make your communities better. So uaw.org slash join. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. Wait,